All right, you guys. So today we are starting a new sort of style to recording. Um, I'm going to try to do some recording based on the way that example seems to record. Uh, and it seems to work pretty good for him. So um, let's see. Uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to hop in and record when it feels right. Uh, and then my videos, instead of being like straight to the point, concise ideas are going to be more um, a collection of different things as I'm working. So uh, anyway, right now I'm working on the cork board texture and it's coming along pretty nice. I think, you know, it's going to, it's one of those things where I have to do a huge area before I know whether or not it's actually going to look right. So it's going to be a little bit tricky and I'm going to have to do a lot of work, but uh, as of now it's going, it's going pretty good. Um, now let's see, um, what I'm doing here is like, basically it, it doesn't necessarily always apply here, but for this, I know that cause this is what this is. It's an eight by eight repeating texture. And then for the next one over, it's the same texture, but it's offset by four. So it doesn't look as obvious. Uh, and then for the next one, it'll be the first texture again, the first p pattern, and then this pattern again. And I'll just repeat that throughout the whole thing. And it's looking pretty nice. And it's pretty easy to do because all I have to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth one, it's the one that dips down. And then it's going to just repeat that pattern for this. And then for this one, on the seventh one, is going to dip down. And then the eighth one is going to be dipped down. And then I'll count six and do it. Um, so it'll be pretty easy for me to, to do it in strips that way. Um, anyway, that's all for now. I'll check back in later. Uh, I'm hoping to have more of this done, uh, like a much bigger area. Maybe, maybe I'll even get the wood all the way up there. Who knows? Um, and I'm, I'm looking to put some, uh, things on the bulletin board. And one of the things that I like about this bulletin board is that we can do, more graphic designy sort of things with it because it's going to be larger um, unlike the one on Minecraft which is only you know the size of you know this like one by one uh, we have the potential to make posters and pictures and stuff which I think is going to be a lot of fun uh, anyway so um, I'll check back in with you guys later on and maybe I'll be working on this still maybe I'll be at the gold farm I got some Stuff I got to be doing there too, uh, but this is going to be quite an experience uh, figuring out how we're going to be managing these episodes now. So uh, it'll be exciting. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, um, so I am at Pecos's base. Uh, a because I want to see it again. Did he just throw one of the maps? No, no, no strings. Um, I think I have all the maps. I wanted to see what he's been working on. And also, I wanted to give him a bulletin board because so far, um, with the you know, I'm recording this before, while the last episode is still going up. Um, in fact, nobody's seen it yet besides me, um, so nobody really understands fully what the uh, bulletin board is. And and I want to show uh, Pecos. Uh, let's see. We're trying to, we're trying to think of a good spot for the bulletin board here this would be like perfect except um let's see what he thinks um you have there you go all right so i'm going to go ahead and put these down um, these are going to seem like they're not in the right spot, but I assure you they are. Uh, this one I believe goes here. Oh, he's got some of my maps too. Okay, so this is the most completed part so far. And this goes there. He have two of mine still. Uh, two maps. Correct. So he's got the last one too, I hope. Perfect. Wow. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. Stairwell? Oh, nope. Not stairwell. Uh, 
this guy can build. Oh my gosh, look at this place. Oh, how beautiful, even, oh, it's even more beautiful than I could ever even have imagined. That's amazing. Wow, oh my gosh. Wow, I gotta take some, uh, some screenshots of this. This is going to be our thumbnail. If I can get a good a good one. Oh man, that acacia tree is so beautiful. F2. There we go. Alright guys, I just want to give you a little bit of a heads up on, on where we're at now. Um, so, I've been working uh, not too long. And uh, I've gotten, basically because I know that... Oh shoot, that... That's a good point. I'm going to have to be careful because this is starting to grow into grass. Um, and i got to be really careful about that. But um, basically this entire line right here doesn't have any... It's just straight up the same thing. It doesn't have any like little pockets or anything. Um, so I, I just finished putting that all the way to the end. But as you can see it's starting to turn into... Um, it is starting to turn into grass over there. So I'll have to take care of that. But I ran out of dirt. Uh, I've completely run out of dirt. So I'm going to go and help example finish up... Um, uh, some of the, uh, we're working on the witch farm still. We're, we're mining out basically everything so that there's no possible place for anything to spawn within a certain radius. So I'm going to go ahead and help him with that and then grab some dirt. Uh, and then I'm hoping to finish, I don't know, maybe I, I want to get a big chunk of dirt done. Um, uh, but that's probably not going to happen. This is going to take a very long time and I'm also going to need a ton of glass. Um, but I'd hope Maybe I could get the rest of the border um, put together, this wooden border. That would be a good um, thing for me to get done. But right here is going to be difficult because I'm going to have to mine out this entire continent uh, chunk right here. Uh, anyway, so that's all I want to show you guys right now. I'm going to go and deliver a set of these bulletin board maps to example. I'm going to have to make another copy for myself as well. And... Uh, I will see you guys a little bit later on. All right, you guys. So I'm heading over to Examples Base right now to give him some of the uh, the bulletin board maps. I wanted to have somebody else be able to see them and, and be able to look at it from time to time and see his progress is being made. Um, I also gave them to Pecos, as you guys saw. So let's get to oh, who should be there really soon. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I haven't made it yet. Uh, put them in the treehouse. I don't, he's been talking about a tree house. I don't know where it is. I'm assuming maybe it's in the, uh, let's see. We might be able to see it right now. Is it to the right? Mm, don't think that's the tree house. Uh, what is he talking about? So let's go ahead and head to his actual base um, and see what's going on. All right, so I have no idea what he means by a tree house. Whoa, this is different. Things are changing. <laughs> uh, let's see. I, I don't know where he is. I oh, that's big. Is that the tree house? Yes, that's the tree house. Awesome. That looks really cool. Um, Lost Boys Clubhouse. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. So he wants me to put it in here. So I guess he won't see it yet, but you guys get to see what's been done. So that goes there. And that goes there. And that goes there. Oops. There. And finally, that one. And since we have this opportunity to look at it uh, up higher than our um, the one on glowstone is, you can kind of see. I, I think it's really coming out great. This cork board, um, and I think it's gonna look. I think it's gonna look pretty nice, honestly. So um, right now I'm working on this area right here, trying to clear that out so I can finish the wooden border, and um, it's giving me a lot of. Uh, dirt which is great because i'm going to need a lot for this like an awful lot for this but uh i've run out of glass so i'm going to head over to paul's base uh and i'll see you guys there because he gave me or he told me i could come by and pick up um some i want to check it out <laughs> he's got a timer that's awesome 
Uh, but Paul Paul said he's got like eleven stacks of uh, of glass that I could have. So I'm gonna go check that out. Anyway, I'll see you guys there. And here we go. All right, so I'm at Paul's base, uh, and he left me twelve stacks, or or eleven and a half, really. Um, Paul, I don't actually need this light blue one, but thank you so much for all the rest of these, and and I will repay you in glass in the future. Um, I'm gonna set up. I, I don't I don't want to take the time to do it right now, but I am gonna set up a. Uh, um, I am going to set up a sand generator uh, using the design that uses the the end portal, I think. Um, but uh, obviously, I can't go over there because there's a ton of dragons in the end right now. Um, so I can't really do that one at the moment. But in the future, we'll we'll get it set up for a while so we can get um, a bunch of sand for the whole server. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head back to the Mushroom Island and I will see you guys there. Alright guys, so I'm going to continue to work. Uh, I'm going to put the rest of the glass here. Uh, and then I'm going to go back to working on this for a while. And uh, I'll pop back in maybe in a few days or so uh, to see how far we get. Anyway, I'll, I'll check back in just a bit. Okay, so shortly after I got back from Paul's base, um, he logged on. And I was talking to him, like, hey man, I, 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 got, the, uh, I got the glass from you. And he's like, no... I'm looking at it and I'm like, um, I'm placing it. <laughs> I know I got it. You know, here it is. Um, and, uh, so, uh, um, I, I was placing it and then every time I left the chunk and then came back, everything I placed was gone, but the stuff actually stayed in my inventory uh, and as I was using it up and stuff. So um, here I just want to show you guys. Uh, watch what happens when I um, when I look at the map. And it, here you can see it change. Give it a second. There it goes. All right. Now watch what happens when I log out uh, and log back in to sort of unload and reload the chunk. Ta-da. It's all gone. <laughs> um, and watch what happens when I look at the map again. You can see that it actually did change the map, and now it changed back. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I'll explain in just a second about what's going on. All right, so first thing I want to do is give you guys a little update on, on where we're at. We're making really good progress. Um, got a lot of dirt from there, and I got a bunch of glass, um, and we really, really been making some great progress here. Um, now what happened earlier is, uh, first of all, also I want to thank example. He came by and dropped off all this stuff for me. This is everything in his inventory. He dropped off here, um, which is great cause I, I actually do need more food, you know, just for spares in the future and stuff. Um, so that was great. Uh, but what, what was it going on before? Well, here's the thing. Um, I left examples base to head to Paul's base and I went the wrong direction. I, I completely forgot where Paul's second base is. Because he's got a town and he's got a base. And I went the exact opposite direction. Oh, yeah. Um, why is caps lock on? <laughs> um, anyway, so what was I saying? Uh, I, I went to the wrong direction. And uh, I loaded up MC edit to jump to where Paul was so I could see it and I, I, I just I don't know why I, I didn't think about the fact that you shouldn't have MC edit running while you're playing in the game um, and I guess it caused some sort of hiccup where um, where I like my player data file was getting updated but stuff in the world was not. Uh, it wasn't saving. So whenever I'd leave a chunk and come back, like I took the stuff out of Paul's chest, but when I left and the chunk got unloaded and then he, he logged on and it got loaded again, all the stuff was back in his chest. So um, so I guess what I meant is... Uh, um, I guess what I'm... Uh, same. <laughs> um, I guess what I meant is that he... Uh, um, his... I guess what I'm saying is that the, the entities... Like not the entities themselves, but the the inventory stuff um, got updated. But the the you know all the blocks, including the entities like the chests and stuff, didn't didn't update. Um, anyway, so this is this is where I'm at. Uh, I finally finished this area. Those trees have been cut down. They're just the leaves lingering. So those will probably be gone uh, really really soon when I go over there. And I've been thinking about um, as you can see, if you look if you look over here, 
I mean, it's really hard to tell, but if you look right at the top there, you can see a slight discoloration similar to, or I guess actually the bottom, well, the bottom, the bottom lip here, you can see that light line from the wood. You can see it's darker here. That's because I didn't actually clear out the, the mountain that's right here, but I'll get to that soon. Anyway, I just wanted to check in with you guys. Um, I'm actually really impressed with the amount of progress I've made. I've got the system down, uh, and now that I've got more glass, I can I can really keep going. Um, and then we'll, we'll eventually get that all cleared out, and, and I'm really happy with how this is going. Uh, and it's kind of funny because, uh, you know, originally I set up the, um, I set up this episode started by saying like you know it's going to be a different format and stuff but I, i've gone back into old habits and it seems like i'm recording just the, the exact same way that i usually do um where i uh i just sort of plan on getting this whole thing done but uh when the episode gets long enough i might just you know call it quits and, and if we're at least halfway maybe by that time that would be nice so that uh, i don't do like three episodes where we're in the middle of doing this um Anyway, that's it for now. I'll check back in uh, when I've got when I've exhausted all this glass and and uh, we've gotten a little bit farther. Okay, so here's what I'm doing right now. Because I keep running out of glass, and actually the only reason that it's important for me to even put down glass, other than to look at it and see how nice it's coming out, uh, is to be able to move quickly over it. So here's what I'm doing right now in order to conserve my glass so that. If in the future um, somebody else who has like a supply of glass wanted to come here and help me out, this is what they could do. So um, for all the strips, like let's look over here. Uh, you'll notice this strip right here is all dirt. Uh, there's no dips. It's dirt with glass on top. And then the same can be said about this strip, this strip, this strip that strip and that strip so I'm going to uh, put the strips that are gonna be just nothing but solid dirt the whole way I'm gonna put all of those in um, and then for the in-between ones uh, and I'm also by the way I'm also gonna be putting the glass on top of those strips but for the ones in between like this one right here I'm gonna do it this way so that I can run quickly instead of like having to go like this I can run quickly on top of the glass um, and then I'm going to put the groundwork in like the dips and stuff and then if somebody wanted to come here with their own supply of glass in order to help out the uh, um, in order to help out the effort towards getting this bulletin board complete they could just come and and go like this they could just fill in what I've clearly already done um, no offense to anybody on the server, but I, I don't trust anybody else to get the pattern right because um, it's it's a little bit tricky and it's sort of like the way I'm doing it, like I created it so so I can figure it out. And I've already made a mistake once or twice, but I've figured them out and, and I'm the only one who's going to notice the mistakes. And it's going to be a real pain if you mess up the pattern in one spot, it could throw off the entire rest of the board. Um, so don't worry about the pattern itself. I'm going to handle that with all the dirt. Don't basically, you don't have to worry about placing any dirt. You're just going to be placing if you want to help. Um, oh good. If you want to help, you can, you can help by placing the glass, uh, on top of, um, that one strip, um, the area with the strip right here where, uh, where it's clear that like, if you're standing on it, it's only one high water. Uh, and I've clearly already put this all the way to the end, you can just go ahead and do this. And the way that you're going to know if I've already gone to the end is if you look at this, you can see that the water is a lighter color because there's dirt directly under the surface. Um, so obviously at that one point, and there's two points up there, you can see that there's a there's those spots where I didn't actually um, continue yet. And and I'm going to, by, by the time this video goes up and people get this message, I'm going to hopefully be a lot farther along and have a lot more of those strips going um, so that uh, it'll be more convenient. Like basically without, without filling it in like this and instead sort of handling it uh, this other way, which I'm going to give you guys a little recap of what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to use up all of the glass that example gave me just doing uh, these strips that go all the way and then what I'm gonna do for the other strips is I'm just gonna go like this I'm just gonna go oh, oh there we go one two three four five six seven and then the eighth one is one glass and then I'm gonna drop down here and I'm gonna put dirt and then I'm gonna come back up 
And then I'm going to go one, two, three, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the eighth one is glass with dirt underneath it. All right, so I'm going to be doing that, and then as you can see, I'm leaving this shallow area with the water where if somebody else wanted to come on and spend some of their glass to help out the effort, uh, they could just fill in this top area. And, and the reason I'm doing this is because it's going to save me a ton of glass that I'll be able to get the groundwork done pretty far into this. Because um, for the bottom left, from the bottom left of this map to the top of this map, like literally just that spot, um, it takes two stacks for just one strip here. One strip takes two stacks of... Um, of wood, uh, what are these called? Slabs. So that's how much it took to just do one strip, two stacks for one strip. Now for the entire billboard, um, which is too high, that's four stacks for just one strip. So that's four stacks times eight across for just this thing. So the glass, you know, it's like one stack does actually not go that far, uh, in helping me do this. So in order to conserve it, I'm going to use uh, as much of the glass as I can in just this little way. And then, like I said, uh, many, many times already, if somebody wants to come in with their own supply of glass to help out, they can just go uh, and and be pointing it down and, and go like that. And, and that's what we're going to do. Um, anyway, so I'm going to pop back in later when I've gotten a bit more completed. Um, and by simply putting the glass there, um, once you look at the map, it'll it'll give all the, the pockets and stuff that I've uh, really worked on. So, um, and uh, thank you, example. Yeah, I, I definitely think that my new channel is going to be a success. Um, I have looked at... I, I intentionally am not watching other channels that are similar to the one I'm starting, the Anime Collector channel, but um, from what I have seen of other people reviewing stuff, it's like, it's so dull, just so unbelievably dull, and yet somehow they have a lot of subscribers, like over 100 subscribers, so I think I'm going to be really taken off. I expect to have more subscribers on the Anime Collector channel than I've gotten over a year of doing this channel in maybe two months tops. I think I'll be blowing past 200 subscribers in no time. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to use up everything I have in this chest and then we'll check back in, uh, unless something interesting happens that I want to talk to you guys about. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make a little prediction. Let's see how far we get. I think, I bet we could probably like, you know, we could probably like see how we're from here to here. I bet we could get double that in addition so like three times what that is we'll be like right here maybe maybe even farther I don't know it's 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 definitely a lot less glass but I have to keep in mind that I am going to be doing uh, the strips that are just full dirt with no pockets so anyway we'll see we'll just see I'll see you guys in a little bit okay guys so uh, before I was doing this where I'd go like there's two here so I go one two three four five six and then I would use two glass and then I'd scroll wheel one two three four five six scroll wheel two glass you know and um, that's great and everything but it requires you to count one two three four 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 five six scroll wheel and it's easier if I know that my previous uh, pattern is correct all I have to do is look at this and go one two one two so now I'll go to the next one and I'll go one, two, one, two. Then I'll go to the next one. One, two, one, two. Uh, and this way I can I can just go up and down and I can start with just glass. One, two, one, two. And I don't have to count as much, so I, I won't make as many mistakes. So one, two, one, two. Um, and now here it's gonna get a little bit different. I'm gonna need to, one, two, one, two, there we go. And of course, when I get to the end here, I gotta mine this out and replace it with uh, dirt. But this is the, the system I'm using now. It's making this go a lot faster. Uh, and what's really weird about this is it seems like a huge job. Like I, it felt like I wouldn't be able to possibly get through all of the glass that I have uh, in one sitting, 
but it actually is going pretty quickly uh, considering like it, it seems like it's going a lot faster now uh, on my way back all I have to do is use dirt so that means I don't have to use the scroll wheel which is nice and because I've got respiration on on my helmet this isn't too too difficult so I I just swim and then when I hit this I go okay boom boom then I swim there and there keep swimming uh, and that's been a lot easier now um, I'm sorry that I've been popping in and out of this whole episode just showing you guys the little bits of uh, stuff but um, uh, I was talking to example and and he reminded me that um, the New Year's uh, base progression uh, stuff is coming up so I've got to get uh, that episode sort of taken care of and, and I, I should probably be considering wrapping this one up pretty soon so uh, I guess um, I'm going to probably I mean I don't know how long this episode is going to end up being but it'll probably be oop, dang it I'm dying it'll probably end up being a little bit shorter than uh, than I would have normally made it um, which will probably be a welcome uh, th oh did I drop it It'll probably be that'll probably be a welcome change for you guys, because uh, my episodes tend to get pretty long. Um, but uh, anyway, so so we're probably gonna wrap this episode up. I'm, I'm gonna check back in at the end once I've used up this glass just to see how far we've gotten. Um, I wanted to pop in and kind of give you guys this tip on um, on different ways to be more efficient with your patterning. So um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to finish up uh, with this glass and I'll check back in and then we'll, we'll call this episode an end and, and we'll have to do something different in the next couple episodes for uh, New Year's and stuff and the base progression. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys uh, at the end and we'll just wrap this thing up. All right. So I wanted to jump in here after I used up all this glass, but I still have a ton left. And uh, uh, the reason why is because I stopped putting the glass over the strips because I found that... Uh, it actually made it harder for that new sort of setup I was showing you for how I was doing things by um, going through this stuff. Because when, when these are here, it, it made it harder to, to see through. Um, so I've done it like this, where even like even though a lot of these are just straight up dirt the whole way through, I was able to save a lot more glass. Uh, but the problem is that um, I have completely run out of dirt. Um, and... <laughs> Uh, I actually went over to this island over here and I took every scrap of dirt uh, from it uh, except for this dirt here is like I would I would end up just putting that back in the end because it's on the same level that that this sort of dirt is so so that's gonna stay there no problem um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to fill in as much of these strips as I can um, by the way uh, I have purposefully in I mean I didn't I didn't stop it right after um, we last popped in and I showed you the, the progress but uh, relatively soon after that I stopped checking this map so I could show you the progress here um, so that map is actually way way farther along let's uh, let's go ahead and hop over there and take a look there you can see it starting to pop in. Come on. I probably should have waited till I was a little bit closer to it before doing this, so I could have... Uh, yeah, and then there's... I accidentally placed one glass there, but whatever. Um, it would need to go there anyway. No point in taking it down. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's what we've got, and um, I actually need to call it quits, because I've got a lot of work to do for um, the Anime Collector channel, getting it started and stuff, and... Um, I have been at this for far too long, um, so I am going to uh, call it an end for now. Uh, and then once I'm done, because you know, basically I need to be awake <laughs> for for recording for the Anime Collector channel. Um, so once I'm done recording, I'm gonna pop back in uh, when it doesn't matter if I'm like dead tired and I can just kind of finish this up. Um, but uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time and. Uh, uh, next episode, I guess, is going to have to be the New Year's episode, so um, we're going to figure something out, and I'll see you guys there.